The new year brought a long-awaited new parental leave policy to members of the military, and it's a big one for families and parents-to-be. Starting in late December, all members of all services, whether they are a birthing parent or adoptive parent or a spouse, will get a significant increase in the time they can take off following the birth of a child. Everyone is now eligible to take up to 12 weeks of parental leave within the first year, and it can be spread out in multiple chunks. That's a big bump from the current policy, which across the services generally allowed for six weeks of convalescent leave, followed by six weeks of bonding leave for birthing parents, with variations of up to three weeks for non-birthing parents. Congress mandated the change as part of the 2022 National Defense Authorization Act, normalizing parental leave policies across the services and, for the first time, giving equal bonding time to both partners. Now, both partners can essentially double their allowable leave or more and spread it out how they see fit. The policy applies to any babies welcomed after December 27th. For any non-birthing spouses who took less than their prior leave allotment for children welcomed in 2022, they have until their child's first birthday to take any remaining leave up to the 12 weeks. What the latest policy doesn't include is clear guidance for convalescent leave. Previously, military maternity leave has consisted of six weeks to recover from delivery and another six weeks for bonding. The new policy covers only the bonding portion of that leave, with the provision to take convalescent leave if a doctor recommends it for a, quote, diagnosed medical condition. Also of note, not all of the services have implemented their own individual parental leave policies yet. For instance, the Army is still waiting on putting out its guidance. For more details, check out our coverage on MilitaryTimes.com. For Military Times, I'm Megan Myers.